شكرا Good morning beautiful people today is Tuesday yeah Tuesday and it is the 3rd of July we are halfway through the year question have you kept up with your new year's resolutions a lot of people six months through have not they've forgotten about it but I think that there should be a half year reassessment of your resolutions so this is your opportunity to look at what you resolved to do at the start of this year and either re-implement them congratulate yourself on doing a great job or reassess them completely and maybe change them because a lot of things can happen in six months and your life can change a lot so maybe you need to just change it up look at having some half year resolutions okay getting on with the day I'm just having my vitamins I'm getting in about three liters of this beautiful H2O don't worry guys I recycle all my bottles the water around here is not good that's why I have to have bottled water and getting my vitamins in I'm using the health box from Holland and Barrett I talked about this in a previous Video. If you haven't seen all my videos or they're not coming up in your notification box, number one, turn your notifications on so you do not miss out when a new video comes up. And number two, go back and watch some of them because some of them have been flagged for monetization, so it kind of puts them down the rankings on being pushed on YouTube. So ones like my fitness journey, which I put a lot of heart and soul into, is not getting as many views as it really should. So go check that out. I have it linked at the end of all my videos, but my fitness journey it's really heartfelt and it probably gives you more of an insight into me and why I do what I do right now getting on with it I'm gonna have one of my collagen coffees again I talked about that in my previous video so if you haven't watched that go and watch it now and this little bit here in my fringe we are trying to grow out so I'm not just being kind of super fashionable with like a uh, lopsided fringe this bit is going to be eventually grown out and go in with the rest of my hair so that's why it looks like this and I have only dried my fringe the rest of my hair is wet but I'm gonna have my supplements do all that and um, I'm gonna have coffee I'm gonna have one of these bad boys look how cute they go when they're left in the fridge because the dye kind of goes up through the icing so it's like an ombre effect but it's a uh, red velvet it's on my recipe channel already then I'm going to go and bring the dogs for a quick walk because I'm trying to get my steps in and they are benefiting from extra walks. So right now, every day I am meant to be aiming to get 10,000 steps in and then throughout the week I am aiming to get 600 calories of cardio done. So I am treating these as separate entities kind of. So um, my cardio, I'll either do it in the gym on the treadmill, it'll vary day to day what I get done and I'm just aiming to get probably split it over five days and do about 120 calories over five days so yesterday I just did my stepper at home and I did about 20 minutes on my stepper and that was 120 calories if you have a Fitbit or a smartwatch you'll be able to roughly calculate your calories burned so I have an Apple watch and there's just like a little app inside the Apple watch that you can use to see what your calories are so getting on with the day I'll check in with you guys later taking the dogs for their morning run up and down the back in the woods and my hair this is what it looks like when I do nothing to it and just let it dry in the sun yes I look like a banshee and I'm just gonna have coffee Next, I'm going to have a tea and then I will do my stepper for 20 minutes and I'm going to do some abs at home as well because I have a video coming at the end of the month because I am training abs every day for 30 days to see what happens. See if I can change them, whether they get fuller, etc. But there is a video coming on training abs every day, whether it's beneficial. So I've been working for the past hour just trying to get some content together, get my Instagram ready for tonight, 
uploading a video that should already be up go and check it out it is my 15 weeks out physique update and it shows you guys what i'm looking at the start of my prep so if you skip that video or missed it somehow go and check it out after this video and right now i'm gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of this so this is cardio abs take me a half an hour and then i'm gonna have breakfast and then i'm gonna hit the gym Cardio and abs are complete. I'm quite the sweaty mess right now. So I am now gonna go and have breakfast and then hit the gym. Today I am working on shoulders and triceps and I really want to make my shoulders really stand out. I know as I drop fat, they will become more prominent, but I wanna get them like pumped and big and like a proper bikini girl. Just had breakfast and completely forgot to record it. And on the day where I actually have something other than bacon, and, and mushrooms. Oh well. I had some smoked salmon, some scrambled eggs on one of the Warburton's protein thins. They're quite low in carb and they actually have like a couple of grams of protein in them as well. But right now I'm gonna have an oat milk cappuccino and I am using the Barista Blend Oatly. A lot of the non-dairy milks will not froth for a cappuccino or a flat white so you tend to have to go for the barista blends which may be a little bit pricier the cliffia farms does not blend at all none of them do obviously the barista blend of the oatly will froth completely fine and i find that the alpro coconut almond milk will froth as well but the majority of them they just don't froth they don't get that um foaminess that you get with regular milk so that's my advice for if you're into your coffee and i'm also going to have 10 grams of these bad boys. They're Doisy and Doisy and Dame and they are just yummy. It's dark chocolate, coconut, lucuma, and I'm just gonna weigh out, it's like a bark, and I'm gonna weigh out 10 grams of it and that's gonna be my pre-workout and then I'm gonna go to the gym. So just as I was about to leave for the gym, our once the food delivery arrived. As you may or may not know, Lex has switched up his diet and he has gone to a more high fat diet. So I have had to adjust the kind of foods I order for him and particularly what I'm cooking for him. He's on the same kind of level of carbs as me, but his fats are like quadruple mine. So we have to adjust to what we're ordering. And this is what we order from Muscle Food for Lex and for me as well to adjust to his new macro breakdown. Lex is trying to get his fats not just from meat and dairy and trying to aim towards getting it more from fish and nuts and seeds and things like that. So first things first, I've gotten him a load of these little snack packs from Grays. Now these are the nut ones. There are ones that have fruit in them as well, but they will add to carbs. So in these, there's 20 fat and only six carbs. So perfect for a high fat snack. Got some olives, a few different flavors. These ones per pack are eight grams of fat and no carbs. So perfect again for snacking on the go because Lex is a snack machine. These came free because muscle food tend to throw in little free gifts. So, and we have these before, great for throwing on top of yogurt and they have a little bit of protein in them. I wanted to give these a go, they're protein water. I'm trying to stay hydrated every day and these have 20 grams of protein in them and no fats or carbs. So perfect for on the go, again, protein source. As you may or may not know, Gymshark are having a Dublin pop-up shop in two weeks time. Me and Lex are going to be there along with some of the other athletes. It is a free event. You do not have to pay. You do, need, you do not need a ticket. There will be limited edition clothing on sale and it is in the RDS for two days on the Saturday and Sunday. I think it is the 21st and 22nd of July. If you're in Dublin and you're Irish and you want to support me and come and see me at the Gymshark event, I swear I'm going somewhere with this. If you want to come and see me at the Gymshark event, please do. It's a free event and they're usually loads of fun. But as I'm gonna be traveling again, and as I'm on prep, I'm trying to kind of prepare myself for eating out and stuff like that. So I picked up some of these. Now they're like little travel packs, I suppose, of the Tiggies, smoked chili, and a pepper mustard, and a basil and pea one. And they're just handy to have for when you're traveling and you don't want to kind of get 
salads that are doused in oils and things like that that you can't track. At least if I have one of them, I can just use one and be able to scan it in and track it because I want to stay on track as much as possible when I'm traveling. So the protein bars, haven't tried these yet. Love the Stax bars. This is peanut caramel, so I'm gonna have one of those today. These bad boys, the hazelnut whip fulfill bars, they legit taste like a Ferrero Rocher. They're delicious. They just like taste so good. It's like the hazelnut eat Nutella taste in the middle. And then Lex loves um, fruit flavored things and these are really good. The PhD Smart Bars are super good. But they are quite high in fat for me because they're like 11 grams a bar, but perfect for Lex for a while he's practicing this higher fat diet. I don't know how long it's gonna last, whether it's a whole new lifestyle change or what, but I'm supporting him as his wife and his food provider. Also got these little handy Acti Snacks nut mixes. So there's about 53 grams of fat per 100 and one of these about 40 grams. We've got some of the Eat Lean Cheese. This is for me, for my toasties. Um, we've got some of these, three packs of these cookie sandwiches, high protein. They kind of taste like an Oreo and they are super tasty. If you haven't tried these, they're absolutely amazing. They're a little bit too high for fat for me because they are like 11 grams of fat per 100 and like they're 150 grams each. So that's quite a lot of fat for me, but for Lex, perfect. They're all melt the middle goodness. Sweet potato fries, these are my favorite, the paprika ones. You do have to put them in the oven for about an hour. Mountain chips, they're the best ones, they're my favorite. I like the barbecue ones and the sweet chili flavor ones. We've got some more salmon, healthy fats. These ones from the Big Fish Company are really handy because you literally just throw them in the microwave four minutes or you can poach them or oven bake them if you don't have a microwave, but super handy and a quick meal, especially when I am under time restraints and don't have time to make gourmet cuisine every night. Again, just one of the ready meals. I just wanted to try this. We've tried it before, but I just wanted to make sure Lex actually still liked it. It's the pulled pork with veggies and do, do, do. per meal, it's 20 grams of fat and only 11 grams of carbs, so perfect for Lex. Because he's on a lower carb, he's really loving my Joseph's wraps. Yeah, he's stealing my Joseph's wraps. But I make them into um, kind of a panini type of thing with brie and pesto and ham in it and we just toast it. If you want to check out Lex's video on why he changed over to higher fat and what he regularly eats in a day on his new high fat diet, go and check it out. Show support to Lex and make sure to turn on notifications for his channel too so that you see when he uploads a video. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. about I've been getting things waxed that need to be waxed and now I am absolutely starving but it's kind of close to dinner time so I'm gonna have a pack of these and before I went out I had one of the fulfill deliciousness of hazelnut whip bars so I'm gonna have these and then I'm gonna walk the dogs and then I'm gonna make dinner that's my plan of action what are you getting do you like asparagus Sid High five. Sit. High five. 
High five. Oh, good girl. Good girls. Love your greens. I'm gonna bring these asparagus munchers out for a walk, get my steps in. I'm only about 1500 steps off of reaching my goal, so I'll definitely surpass that right now um, because the walk usually takes about 2000 steps. And I've got some veggies in the oven, asparagus and leeks. I love to just put them in the oven. I'm going to barbecue up some chicken. I just have it lightly marinated in some barbecue seasoning. And I'm going to do some of these little mini peppers on the barbecue as well. See if they taste good. As it is barbecue season, we have some barbecue chicken. We have some sweet potato that was just oven baked. Some asparagus, some baby leeks underneath and some super charred mini peppers yeah and i'm gonna have it with really big eyes no i'm gonna have it with some of this sweet chili sauce from blend bros which i love which you can get from asda that's where i get mine and it's yummy and it's low carb so last meal of the day and after my dinner i always like to have something sweet I think a lot of people are like that. You have a savoury dish and then you have to have some form of dessert. So I like to keep it relatively healthy. I'm going for the vanilla Kvark yogurt. You can only get them in Asda. They have incredible macros. 17 grams protein per tub and they're a pretty massive tub. And only 5.3 grams carbs, no fat. And I usually top it with some of this. This is a sucrine cocoa crunch thing and it's just yummy, it's like cereal. It's kind of like cocoa pops. I put that on top and that is my sweet dessert. So guys, I'm gonna leave the video here. I hope you enjoyed my shoulder and tricep training. I hope you enjoyed the entire video and following my journey. My next video, I will do a physique update because I know you guys really enjoy the physique updates. It, like to show my progress and how I'm getting on because then you can visually see how successful I'm getting on with my diet and training. And tomorrow I'm swapping out my quad day for a sprint day. And I'm gonna do that for a couple of weeks just to see how it changes my legs, whether they come in a little bit. And if it is successful, I may have to do that for the rest of my prep. I may have to withhold training. Can you see my twitchy eye? I've got a twitchy eye right now. But I may have to withhold training quads just for the next 15 weeks so as they can kind of slim down just for the competition that I am doing. But as soon as that's over, I will be re-embracing the quads. I've put the work in, guys. The muscle's there. It's just to kind of lean them out a bit more. Twitchy eye, twitchy eye. Can you see it? I can feel it. Okay, I'm going. Give me a like subscribe do everything you're meant to do as a good person positive vibes only in the comment box below and i will see you in the next video cuz if i only had a hundred fans i take them out to dinner talk about the people that we used to be if i had a hundred fans i am the parents ain't nobody paying i'll be buying the drinks and we would party and we would dance and we would throw up our damn hands Oh